What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video with my sister Yukti and I. Today we're gonna be doing a fun and juicy never have I ever. So we're not really drinking alcohol right now so we just thought we would take disgusting drinks and whenever we did something or we were in a situation we're gonna take a sip. I have apple cider vinegar for me and I have ginger beer. <laughs> I hate that too. Which I, 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 I just, I can't. Like, I, I mean, the whole like ginger flavor for me is just not no go. Yeah, it's just no go. I and can smell it. Yeah. It is bad. Mom loves drinking ginger beer. I do not understand. She also puts her cereal in hot milk, if I may. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I cringe. Loving every time. my mom, but some things. Yeah are a bit questionable exactly um so basically we kind of like took the questions from yeah. videos that we watched on youtube and also things that i saw on google and we made a little list we made a little list i feel like we're gonna probably learn some things about each other yeah and it's gonna be interesting <laughs> let's see okay. okay first one um never have i ever found myself in handcuffs every side of that <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fun story. Once I went to London with Dan in my handbag. <laughs> of course, and travel essential. <laughs> travel essential. <laughs> and they got confiscated at the security check. All right. Never have I ever relieved myself in a public pool. I mean, that's why I go to the pool. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I would not intentionally do it. And I haven't done it in a while, I think. So here's the or maybe thing. just slips. <laughs> <laughs> This, are we like counting CS pool? Yeah, right? Like, because the thing is that like sometimes when you're at the beach and you want to no, relieve I am yourself. not counting the sea as a pool in this okay. one though. Well, but still. <laughs> still, still. Both. <laughs> okay. Okay. Never have we ever crushed on the same person. I, I mean, unless no. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't no. think so. I think we have different tastes. <laughs> I don't think we have different tastes. Yours, I feel like what you're looking for is also what I'm looking for. Yeah, in the sense that we're both looking for, let's say, like the same type of partner. Not like the same type of partners, but like we're looking for the same things in one person. We like the same person. personality traits. Yes, but I feel, I mean, like thinking about the people you've been with, I don't think that you did. <laughs> once you dated someone that really looked like Nicholas. Yeah, once there was this one guy, I was like, whoa. I don't know, Matt or something like this. There were many Matt's there, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. Anywho. Anywho. Um, never have I ever ditched classes at school. Mm, not really. I mean, not like... But for me, it was with the approval of my mom. Because, so, at our school, we went to a, like a French system kind of school. And in high school, you do psych psychology? No, wait, not no, psychology. Uh, philosophy. Philosophy. Worse. And basically, my mom never understood the point of philosophy. She was like... Like... What's like, she doesn't she did not understand it, okay? Just do something useful in this time. <laughs> and so she was like, Yeah, sure you can ditch it if you want to revise your maths. <laughs> so <laughs> hashtag <laughs> brown <laughs> mom. <laughs> so what matters? I, I kind of took advantage of that because I was like, Yeah, I right. don't know, like this is Mom's just such a waste know. of time. Yeah. I'd rather concentrate on math, physics, science, true meaningful stuff. <laughs> and she was fine with it. You never did Okay, it? I... Not like specific classes, like... A no, one -off. no. I, I can't see you ditching I don't class. think, yeah. I, I used to be like a very, you know... Straight A, like student. Not yeah. stellar. 
Yeah. Okay, so never have I ever shoplifted. I'm going to get very bad breath for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Listen, it was on a dare. We were at Camden Market, me and my friend. I think we did a dare and I, I still, I'm so not proud of this. This is not something you should do. And it was like a very minor accessory. This does not excuse my act, but it was like a, like a souvenir kind of thing that we did. I so. feel like I would just stress out like so much. I stressed out. Yeah. Like it was not a fun moment. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, police are gonna catch me and come for me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Next one. Never have I ever been drunk at work. I mean, I feel like no. Actually, me no. Mm -mm. It depends. Like in which occasion? Is it like um like after work and like, oh my god, like once what happened? What happened? We did like. And like after work, so we, I used to work in this like super fancy office in Berlin and they would have like this huge cabinet with so many wines inside and they were like, we wanted to like an after work one day at like five or something and so we went to like pick a champagne bottle from the fridge <laughs> and it opened um, but the thing is that we had the approval of like the partners to yeah. have the after work and we used to have like this crazy bar so then we went to the bar Where did you work? afterwards Fancy real estate, you know? Fancy okay. real estate. True, there you true, go. True, 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 true. But the thing is that the bar was still closed because of COVID. But, I mean, it was not like closed technically. It was a bit like a gray area. But we had the approval from the partners thing. to go there. Mm -hmm. And then the security came. Well, actually, the first time they called. And they were like, yeah, and then we we're like, yeah, no, we're here. All's good. Oh my God. Um, and then they called again. And I think since it was like the second time then they actually had to come and place and the company incurred a fee of like 700 euros what <laughs> <laughs> but wait did you get drunk i mean i had a few drinks but i wasn't there when the security came because i was already like back home so you did like shoplift holiday. well it's not like shoplifting because yeah, it's like okay 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 all right any potato potato <laughs> Um, never have I ever called in sick for a work day to chill. Um, I mean, what are sick days for? Mm. Not that often. I should have done it more. Now, in retrospect, <laughs> I'm thinking about it and I probably did it like twice. I went um, hiking like this year. Okay. <laughs> there was like this really cool mountain called Le Mans. The thing is that I had already given my um, oh like your notice exactly my notice that I was gonna leave the company. So I was like, well, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go and hike. <laughs> Never have I ever had sex on a first date. Mm -hmm. No, no, I don't think I so. Mean, I, I no, nothing. No. Okay, okay. Good girls. <laughs> Um, and never have I ever got drunk alone. There's been some moments. Well, the thing is that like drunk or no. Okay, I'm gonna say tipsy. The thing is that like I would get tipsy after like one glass and I... Yeah, okay, that doesn't count because no. like... Are you gonna get just half of a glass then? <laughs> exactly, right? So it's like, yes, I've had like a glass of wine alone, but, and I did get a bit tipsy. So like, it's not like, you know, I was like drinking True. by myself. So I wouldn't. Okay, yeah. I, I think it was mostly when I left Mauritius to go and study in Paris and I kind of was like this newfound freedom <laughs> and... <laughs> Vodka! No, I would buy like those half bottle of wine and ah the smaller ones yeah the yeah. smaller ones and i in would Paris. just have a whole bottle on my own but maybe that happened like a couple of times it was not a problem you know when it in was, paris. you know what like when in paris yeah so. you have to drink one you gotta be just like you gotta be culturally inclusive <laughs> actively actively right. participating all right <laughs> okay um, and never have I ever got in the car with a stranger. Mm. 
What the hell? Why would you do that? Let's just say plausible deniability on this one, please. I want to know the full story. Later. Just off the camera. <laughs> Something. I don't know if I want to know actually. Okay, yeah, moving yeah, on. Exactly. Okay. Um, so never have I ever been heartbroken. Way too many times. Oh, I don't think I have been in love that many times. Oh, I've been for sure. I mean, like, I'm single, so obviously, <laughs> and I've loved before, so obviously. But I think I. I think I would be lying if I said I never have been heartbroken. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a sip of this delicious apple cider vinegar. Okay, last one. Okay. Never have I ever flirted with someone that was taken knowingly. Well, flirt can be like a very like a light flirt. Like an eye. Like no, like when you like, like you know, that raunchy. Right. <laughs> I've been in a relationship for ten years, guys. I'm living vicariously through her. <laughs> so no, wait, no. I'm you, sure you did. I'm sure. Oh, you're yeah. sure? You can there count times. Like... I don't think so. Yeah, that's well, sad. I I actually don't know how to flirt. <laughs> I didn't have to flirt with my actual fiance because we were like best friends. Oh my God, this is. I'm going off a tangent. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry because I've never flirted. Flirted? Is that even a word? <laughs> no, it's like, I don't know. So no, I haven't flirted ever. This is very sad. Well, I, I actually just don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, on this note, <laughs> thank you for joining us for this Never Have I Ever. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun drinking this delicious drink and chit chatting with my sister. Clearly, something that I will have to ask <laughs> more questions because some things don't add up. But we're going to keep that for later. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, this mosquito trying to bite me. If you guys have enjoyed this video and have enjoyed spending this time with us, then definitely do not be shy to hit on that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps and it really motivates me. And until then, I will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.